Tata Consultancy Services will kickstart the Q2 earnings season for the IT sector on Wednesday, October 11. But D Street analysts don't anticipate any major fireworks as the underlying demand environment remains a global challenge. The IT major is likely to report a muted set of numbers for the July to September quarter in continuation to the softness seen in the past two quarters despite several big deal wins as profit realizations will take time. Hi, I'm Meghna Chadda from ET Markets and let's talk about what to expect from TCS's second quarter numbers. Before we move on, for those who are watching this on YouTube, please like and share our videos and subscribe to the Economic Times YouTube channel. For the quarter gone by, which is traditionally a strong quarter for the sector, the IT giant is seen reporting a mere 1.4% sequential growth in consolidated revenue to Rs 60,218 crore, according to the average of estimates by eight brokerages. But on a year-on-year -year basis, the revenue is seen rising nearly 9%. Consolidated net profit is seen rising 3% sequentially and over 9% YY to Rs 11,404 crore in Q2. Experts suggest that the focus will now shift to analyzing whether the worst is behind the IT industry and if demand is picking up or not. TCS shares have run up in the September quarter on the back of strong deal wins and expectations of demand revival for 2024 and 25. Now let's talk about deal wins. While discretionary spending on IT services has witnessed a slowdown, analysts expect the deal momentum for TCS to continue. Kotak Institutional Equities sees deal wins including the BSNL deal worth around $12 billion, witnessing a YOI growth of 48%. In the quarter ended June, the software services major won deals worth over $10 billion, which was higher than its guided range of $7 to $9 billion. Moving on to the margin show, while revenue growth is likely to have been muted, operational performance is seen to be better, aided by normalization in wage hike cost impact and visa costs. Analysts expect TCS's operating margin, calculated as earnings before interest and taxes or EBIT, to expand by 30 to 90 basis points sequentially from 23.2%. Now, TCS announced last week that the board on Wednesday will also consider a buyback of shares. This news lifted the stock to a 52-week high on Monday. So far in 2023, shares of TCS have net gained 12%. In the past as well, TCS has done share buybacks worth Rs 18,000 crore and this time too, analysts expect a similar size. If approved, this will be the fifth time the technology major will be conducting a share buyback. Talking about the other key things to track the management's commentary on demand and the recovery expectation in the second half of the financial year, banking verticals, telecom in North America, which were weak in Q1, large deal wins, and employee addition will be key things to track. At the beginning of the financial year, TCS had said that double-digit earnings growth in FY24 would be a tall ask. Now let's see if the company is able to meet or beat street expectations. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.